Are you able to calculate this without calculator? If not, after this video, you will. Firstly, I have to tell you that the answer is an integer. And by using this trick, you will succeed. This trick comprises three steps. And I'm going to be explaining to you all the steps, all the details, and all the things that you should notice. In our first step, what shall we do? Our work is to find out how many digits our result comprises. For example, it is a two-digit number, or a three-digit number, or a four-digit number even more. Of course, how shall we do that? How can we determine this? Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This number under the root has 12 digits. And because we know that 10 to the power of 7 has how many digits? 8. 1 and 7 zeros. What about 100? Even more, 1 and 7 times 2 zeros. So it is 1 plus 14. So it consists of 15 digits. Or this number under the root has 12 digits, and 12 is between 8 and 15. So that means our number, so our result has to be a two-digit number. Two digits. I'm going to do this. Determine the unit digit. Okay, but how? Look at this. Here, the unit digit is 3. So we have to have a look. Which number to the power of 7 has the unit digit 3? From 0 to 9, we have 10 cases, and we have to check all of them. However, if we're clever, I say only few cases. We want to find which number to the power of 7 has the last digit 3. And we know 3 is an odd number, this as well. So that means our this number on the base should be odd. Only a non number to the power of 7 can be odd. So now we have only 5 cases. And these 5 cases are actually 1 to the power of 7, 3 to the power of 7, 5 to the power of 7, 7 to the power of 7, and 9 to the power of 7. We know that if a number has unit digit 1, then this number raises to the power of any number will have the unit digit 1. So here, the unit digit must be 1. 1 is not equal to 3. Impossible. And of course, for 5 as well. The unit digits will always be 5. And for 9, 9 to the power of 1 is 9. 9 to the power of 2 has the unit digit 1. To the power of 3, unit digit 9. To the power of 4, unit digit 1. So to the power of 7, it will have the unit digit 9. Actually, also impossible. If you have some patience, you will find out the answer. For example, for 3 to the power of 7, the unit digit of 3 to the power of 1 will be 3. Of 3 to the power of 2 will be 9. Of 3 to the power of 3 will be 7. Of 3 to the power of 4 will be 1. Of 3 to the power of 5 will be 3. Of 3 to the power of 6 will again be 9. And of 3 to the power of 7 will be 7. And for 7 to the power of 7, of course, this is the only right one. The unit digit is 7. It has to be 7. Write this number down. Now, I delayed 
the last seven digits. Why seven digits? Because the seventh root. So now I have to delete the last seven digits. Then focus on the first ones. Five zero six six two. Then, then I have to find two numbers actually, and this number five zero six six two should be between the seventh power of these two numbers. So now I have to find the square and the triangle. What are they? Now use your calculation tricks, and then you can find out the fourth power of seven is one six three eight four. Smarter than this, and five to the power of seven is seven eight one two five. Bigger than this. So now we can see that the square. Is actually four. The triangle is five. So now, what is this digit? What is actually the tenth digit? Always the small one. Four is smaller, so it is four. And unit digit is seven. So now the result is forty-seven. So we actually get the answer. It is forty-seven. Press the seventh root of this number on your calculator, and your calculator will tell you our answer is right. Wow! Did you get it? Did you get the trick? Subscribe to me for more tricks, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.